Hi, it's me again with Corodal Tips and Tricks, and this little video is going to be about rotating an item around a, an object that's not in the center. If y'all watched enough of my videos, you know that I put indexing lines in the center of the line. Whoop. Put indexing lines, and then I can draw a, an item, put P, put it in the center of the page, then grab it, move it to the top, and then I double click on the rotation and put it in the center. And a lot of times you have trouble getting it in the center, or it doesn't look like it's in the center, but it is. And then you can rotate it, Control-D, and make a duplicate, rotate it 20 degrees, or whatever degrees you want to do, divisible by 360, and just keep rotating around. But if you're not working the center of the page, you can always do this. Without indexing lines, I'm going to turn my indexing lines off so it's not in the center of the page. <clears throat> But I'm going to draw a two-point line. Well, as a matter of fact, I am going to draw it in the center of the page. But I'm not going to have to center it. I'm going to go ahead and put our object in the center of the page. Then I'm going to draw our square again, put it in the center of the page. But I'm not going to have to put it in the indexing lines. Because what I'm going to do, I am going to grab that entire line in that square. And I'm going to go to object and I'm going to group it together. That line is automatically in the center of the line with the rotation. So then I can control D and rotate it 20 degrees and rotate it again all the way around. You're going to have some double lines, but it doesn't really matter. Then select it all, go up to object and ungroup it, and then take your pick tool, holding down your alt key, which will select all the lines and then hit delete. So that way you've rotated without having to rotate the center because that line is automatically in the center, the rotation of that line. When you put that in the center of the page, the rotation is in the center of the page. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.